right into his mouth and eat it. 10 more mouths to feed. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gort has befriended a duck. Just a harmless old water moccasin. And they still haven't found out that I'm fishing here on their property. These guys need to learn how to hunt fish. I got him 150 minnow. November 23rd, 2023. Good morning, everybody. Today is the big day. Big Ounce and I are gonna be taking this Mississippi kite to all of things wild. And we are gonna be going with them to release the bobcat on a big sanctuary in san antonio and this sanctuary has lab monkeys tons of other wildlife because they take in ten thousand wild animals every year and hopefully they'll let us film so that we can get inspired and do the same having said that they're on 212 acres so we're a little bit limited here with space but with the right big ounce anything is possible <laughs> That's it, guys. I'm going to leave Big Ounce in the living room so that he can snooze. But like I said, I still don't quite have my permits for this kite yet, even though I've had him in the brooder and I've been feeding him. I can only temporarily hold these boys as I transfer them to other rehab. Old Uncle Ben now has enough experience to get his own permit. Because this is the eighth Mississippi kite that I've picked up from Waco alone. All together with this and all the stuff we've been doing at All Things Wild, I have at least 100 hours now. And that doesn't even include Cooper's hawks, the red tail hawks, we've picked up or any of the owls and if you guys look i've rescued about one of these guys on average per video for the last five videos on the channel oh uh, my goodness them. okay we're gonna be moving this little bobcat okay and you're sure he can't bite through this right <laughs> yes he actually kind of can oh he's chill yeah yeah he's good i thought he was gonna be cringe oh my goodness <laughs> oh, oh okay okay look at this cringe half blind possum he's <laughs> so scared he was gonna get away look at this dude come here bujo all right everybody i have retrieved the bag and i'm gonna be driving with this precious little kibby for two hours but this little fellow will be going to wildlife rescue and rehabilitation where he will be with lots of other bobcats and get right back to the wild all right everybody here we are candalia texas a beautiful land filled with live oaks and now bobcats we are going to an amazing 200 acre facility that's full of wildlife and sanctuary animals for this guy to spend the rest of his life here we are wildlife rescue and rehabilitation right off the bat this is the nicest wildlife rehab i've ever seen i think looks like they pour millions of dollars of donations into all of this equipment and, and they basically have their own fully functioning vet clinic with a full-time vet on staff a brand new x-ray machine a dozen buildings and at least 50 full-time staff all right everybody i was not going to film in there because all of those animals are being rehabbed now these guys do have monkeys and lions and a lot of other stuff back there but their policy is to minimize contact with the animals even the sanctuary animals like pigs and goats but these little raccoons at all things wild Hello. finished up their time in the maternity ward and it's time for them to move to their pre-release enclosure <laughs> oh he's friendly oh all things wild is running out of capacity for some of their small mammals so i'm taking a bunch of their workload he's emoting <laughs> it's the gritty little guy these are the most Precious creatures alive. And an injured baby black vulture came in. All right, everybody. There's 10 raccoons in my car right now. Count them, 10 raccoons. I came with a Mississippi kite and I'm leaving with 10 raccoons. And all these guys will be going to my facility because we have plenty of space for them in the shade. Oh boy, 10 more mouths to feed. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I adopted this special needs goat that has a crooked neck. He actually walks around like that all the time. He's a little skittish, but he'll come around eventually <laughs> and he would have gotten sold at auction and eaten if i hadn't gotten them so somebody referred them to me and i just took them in look at that little fella but okay you guys here we are our newest patients at the urban rescue ranch wildlife rehab a bunch of dang binguses and directly pre-release we're gonna move them out into here so they can learn how to hunt and fish in a little pool that i'm gonna put in there and then they'll be released we'll probably be releasing these guys early september but these guys probably won't be released for another few months they have shade in here all day unlike their last place and the same thing goes for these guys. I'm going to get a little cat tower and put it in here for these guys to climb on. Chip, kid. Get out of here. Get out of here. Later that night. Morning, everybody. I'm here doing the $20 Walmart fishing challenge. This is all you need to catch big fish, you guys. And now I can write this off. Okay, guys, this is Slow Rise. It's the best pizza place in Waco, and it's on the water. Oh, you guys are probably saying, Uncle Ben, but I can't afford to buy pizza. Well, right here, take a look at this, you guys. You see, people already bought it and threw it away. So we can take a couple of these and go down to the dock. Oh, fish on. What's up, guys? It's me, Thug Shaker 420. Today, I am uh, landing this fish that I caught here at this pizza joint. The only way for me to get it is to fully move over uh, to this dock. The way for me to do that is for me to walk over top of 
all these tables and chairs. This is the $20 Walmart, a $20 Walmart fishing challenge. Tanks here, we got this beautiful big old catfish. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Go ahead, Tank, throw the rod. Yeah, throw it as far as you can, come on. Oh, 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 no, no, oh, oh, oh. Oh, take a look at this, you guys. I'm here at this pizza joint. We just ate our meal. And they still haven't found out that I'm fishing here on their property. Whoa, look at that big, beautiful blue catfish. <laughs> but this is it, you guys. You only need $20 to catch a real nice blue catfish. Catfish challenge, uh, $20 at Walmart. Okay, guys, we love the fish here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. We don't eat fish here. Got a lot of chicken wings in his belly. People all throw their scraps off that dock up there. You see it? You see it? Do you? But that's it, you guys. You just need to go and get a little bit of food at the Slow Rise Slice House. Oh, I got a little snake. Don't mind if I do. This is a diamondback water snake, guys. Oh, he's biting me. Oh, this is just a harmless little water moccasin. Or they're also called cotton mouths. Yeah, Tank, it's a water moccasin. Hey, chill out, dude. Here, chill out. Yeah, yeah, Tank, yeah, just hey, take, a stop, 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 take a bite. Take a bite. That was nice. That was beautiful, man. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and release this little fella. Yeah, man. Goddamn. Goodbye. The next day. All right, everybody. As I said before, Gustavo's doing doing really well in here and he loves his little enclosure oh! but there are a lot of mosquito larvae in here and i do want him to have some enrichment i got him 150 minnows and these minnows are going to be able to hide in all these little nooks and crannies from him. oh look he just caught one look at that they're going to be perfect enrichment for this little guy and they're going to be able to live in here and eat all the mosquito larvae and that should make this little ecosystem in here a little less cringe also the clappy blappies are doing well back here and all the pigeons live in here and eat their food look at these cringe ah uh, uh, bird okay and there's one other thing i gotta show you guys this is a raccoon that a woman dropped off that she was rehabilitating illegally so i kept him in here and quarantined Hello. should not be this friendly at all i'm gonna go ahead and move him in with the other raccoon so he can be desocialized a raccoon this size should not be this friendly at all being a little stinker i got all these goldfish for them we're gonna have these guys hunt them today and i'm gonna put him in here with these other raccoons but now that he's done being quarantined and so are they they should be able to keep each other from being too social with humans but this is actually his first time interacting with another wild raccoon woman that was taking care of him illegally never had him interact with any other raccoon but hopefully by keeping him with these guys and giving him lots of wild things to hunt he should wild up and be ready to go back into the wild pretty soon so the thing that stinks about raccoons you guys they all poop in their water so the second you refill their water they just poop and pee in it and make it disgusting having said that these guys need to learn how to hunt fish so i'm going to be pouring these goldfish in here for and i'm going to refill these nasty waters that they pooped in what the dog doing as you can see it's really good enrichment for these guys to be able to chase around goldfish like that and he's just going to pop that right into his mouth and eat it. But that's one of the best possible enrichments we can give these guys. He's actually not even gonna let me out of here. He's growling at me every time I try and touch him, you see that? Look at these little fellas learning how to fish. It's like the foxes though, you guys, this is the last time I'm gonna be filming this because I want these animals to stay wild. But I can probably still film from outside of the cage. Uh oh, okay, now we need to get this guy off the gate so I can get out of here. Come on, get out, oh gosh. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna leave these guys alone now so they can hunt. But this is a good pre-release enclosure for all these guys. These fellas have a similar setup, but they're hiding. But now I'm gonna go ahead and leave these guys alone so that they can get back to being wild. And if everything goes well, we should be able to release them in the next few weeks. But this is half cock. And he's a bit skittish oh still, but God. he's coming around. But the roof on this enclosure is almost done. Refilled the water, hay, and feed for all these guys. Hey guys, sorry about what I did to your families, but here's an important channel announcement. For some reason, the baby's in a real good mood tonight. Only need one hand to fight a kangaroo, you guys. You need to have a good wingspan. Whoa, 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 we're arm wrestling. We're arm wrestling now. We're arm wrestling then and give him a little kiss. Mwah. See, it's not that hard to defend yourself from a kangaroo. You just have to confuse them, guys. <laughs> But he's still my precious little baby boy. He's still going to be able to fight Jake Paul in the ring November 23rd, 2023. I actually do have a little clip for that for you guys. I'll show it to you right now. Hey guys, it's me, Jake Paul. That's right. You heard it. You heard it here first. I'm going to be fighting the baby. Uh, this is a legally binding a verbal contract agreement. I'm going to be fighting the baby uh, November 23rd, 2023. We actually do have audio of this. Uh, and, uh, and I'm just too lazy to match it up. Pretty neat hug, guys. I'm actually teaming up with the yellow guy now, and we're both gonna eat your family if you don't like this video. What do you think of that, guys? Jake Paul actually has a legally binding agreement to fight Jake Paul November 23rd, 2023. Oh, Jake, you should have... Oh. You should have seen the writing on the wall, Jake. Look at this. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding real bad. This is gonna be you, Jake Paul. You should have agreed to fight him when he was a baby. You had two years, Jake Paul. You had two years to come over here 
and fight him when he was a baby, but now you gotta fight him as an adult. <laughs> get back here, the baby, I'm not done. Yep, I'm gonna have to wash these off with iodine whenever I get home. Uh, we only have that one real bad one. But because I left this hose in this one, it ended up vacuuming all the water out. There's all my pibbins. Let the Rhea have nice fresh water. Inca dove moment. And these guys have fresh water and we'll be finishing the ego enclosure pretty soon. Kumala and garbanzo beans are still best friend. And I don't know why Kumala is still out here. I guess I forgot to bring him inside. But we're gonna have some folks out tomorrow to treat the pond for the algae. And in the next video, I'm probably gonna buy a hundred more minnows and plecos. I'm just gonna fill this place with plecos. Gort has befriended a duck. Wow. Okay, goodbye, children. This is precious. And Remington and Winchester are best friends now. Big okay. Ounce is here working on the countertop. And as you can see, Halfcock just has free range of the whole front yard. But all right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. We got a real banger for you in the next video. Another one of our interns came by and his car exploded. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Oh!